welcome everyone today we are going to see how to do headless execution in web driver using chrome and firefox before proceeding if you did not subscribe to my channel kindly subscribe and like this video by hitting like button now what is headless execution headless execution execution of your script without starting without starting browser physically means browser without gui it will start in background but it will be not visible to you okay this program will behave just like a browser means it will give all the facilities of the browser but will not show any gui okay what is the benefit of this fast execution since gui loading time is minimized okay so there will be no time consumed for showing gui to the human being gui is for whom for humans okay and while your script is running in the background you can utilize your time to do other task as well okay so since browser is not visible it is running in background hence you can do other work while test is being executed headless execution supported by chrome browser firefox browser html unit browser and phantom js which is i can say deprecated let us chrome browser and firefox browser both supports headless execution so we are going to see headless execution with the help of these two browsers okay so what is needed you need a java project configured for selenium and chrome driver and geco driver okay if you do not know how to do these things i will provide a video in which you will get the complete information about these two things okay so without wasting time let's start our eclipse i have already started my eclipse and this project is already configured for web driver so i will make a new class in this practice package new class with the main method here and here i will type headless example headless example and click on finish so main method included here once again i will show you right click here go to the new and class select this checkbox and mention the class name as per your need okay so like this suppose head less i given okay and click on finish your class will be created now very first thing you know that okay we need to start a browser how to start a browser you know we need to set the path of your chrome driver or geco driver if you are working with the chrome browser so you need to set the path of your chrome driver like uh, this system dot set property here web driver dot chrome dot driver and your path of my chrome driver we need to give where is my chrome driver it is inside uh, d drive there is a drivers into that there is a chrome driver okay so i will give the path here chrome driver dot exe and uh, we'll start browser like this web driver driver web driver is a parent and uh, new chrome driver which is i can say child of web driver interface okay we'll import this chrome driver we we'll import this web driver driver dot get any url 
driver dot get any URL suppose like blaze demo will be using blaze demo blaze demo driver dot get blaze demo dot com on this this is the I can say drop down from city so driver dot find element by dot name this is the name dot get text I will be calling the function to get the all the available options from that get text will give you the string so I will store into the one string variable string all options okay so this is for our printing printing all options see so all options driver dot quit for closing browser currently we did not do any setting for headless so it will start browser physically for time being let's run it after this i will do setting for headless see it is printing paris boston portland all the options so our execution is successful now let's do the setting for headless okay so what you need to do you need to take the help of chrome options class which is used to pass some setting to the browsers okay so chrome options we need to use chrome options op or i can say options equals to new chrome options fine and in this options will add argument what is the argument that i will add okay hyphen hyphen headless and this options i will pass into the parenthesis of chrome driver let's run it let's close this chrome driver okay so see there is there is no chrome chrome browser here currently let's run it and see there is no chrome browser will start physically see no chrome browser started yet and you are getting the all the options once again i will run no chrome browser started you can see at the bottom no chrome browser started but the, i am getting the options okay so this is using chrome browser now we'll see using firefox okay i will comment these lines like this now you will do the system dot set property here web driver dot gecko dot driver and in the value we need to pass the path of gecko driver so d colon slashes drivers gecko driver dot exe and which browser need to be started firefox okay firefox let's import the firefox okay similar to what chrome option there is a firefox option also so we'll take help of that firefox options options equals to new firefox options okay and in that options 
okay dot add arguments and here also the same thing hyphen hyphen headless and pass this option into the parenthesis of firefox driver let's run it run as java application see here it is giving the warning also you are running in the headless mode okay let's run it once more good these are the options okay these are just warnings you can ignore them and we are getting the options from that drop down so this much is for this video everyone kindly like and subscribe to my channel have a great day